hello guys it's me z from a wireless solution and today we are going to work on how to google verification bypass samsung galaxy a20 this method work for a10 this will work for a50 and more such of the phone that is has the new software version the 9 pi android so let's suppose the sim card that i'm going to put it in here it's lock okay so now as i'm going to put the sim card in make sure we need to swipe the screen really down really fast okay now you can see that the screen is being down there is you can see the thing we need to hit this really quick okay guys so you, you can see that there is uh, so what we are going to do we are going to put the sim card lock and as we press ok we are going to try this uh, hit this really fast so in many occasion i have to try like few times to do it so you have to be very fast with it so yeah so you need to repeat that process again okay now put the sim card back swipe the screen from top to bottom put the sim card lock as you hit ok with it uh, ok so you have to press this really quick okay it's giving me kind of hard time i'll keep trying on it um it's the same way you can do it Okie dokie. Okay guys, so I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to try it again and again and you guys need to do the same unless I take to the next step and I'll show you how we are going to bypass it. <coughs> okay guys so i finally succeed after almost 10 to 12 tries and it will take you to here once it's take you to here okay so don't be panic once it's take you to here so you can hit see all you can see most recent right and here you need to select all once you came here to all right i'm sure you guys can see the full screen i'll try my best now scroll down youtube hit on youtube once you hit to the youtube then you will go to in app notification setting once you come here to in app notification setting you will hit about okay now in hit uh, after a hit about you will go to google privacy and policy accept and continue no thanks so once you are here we are here so you can see the google sign here you will click on this one so it will take you to the google.com right now click in the borrow bar app now we are going to type a uh, b i t by dot l y forward slash launcher l u n c h e r underscore a p e x so now this one we are going to hit next hmm let's see what's wrong give me one second and let's try again so it's b i t dot l y launcher mm, forward slash i forget forward slash okay so the first time i think i spelled it wrong uh, launcher is l a u n c h e r launcher then you underscore a p e x 
apex you can go with it yep now you can see you hit download once you hit download continue allow and it will download here once it's download hit ok and you hit open go to setting allow this go back in style okay once this installation is gonna complete it it may take a few moments so just wait for it and now it's done so hit open so once you hit open it will take you to the main screen but it's not fully unlocked so in order for us to fully unlock what we are going to do is go to chrome once you go to chrome here we are going to type to download two types of uh, software one is bit dot ly forward slash <coughs> frp underscore google okay you hit go now you are going to do, hit download okay once it's downloading so you can see that you can open it from here or you can open it from here you can go to download and this is the android 2.6 you can hit install once you hit install uh, wait for it and it will be done there is no option open sign it's just done go back the third software we are going to download is bitbyte.ly <clears throat> forward slash frp underscore google frp underscore underscore bypass you hit next download this one this is the main one so once you hit ok it's gonna download so you can again go there and open it or just open it from here install it once this one is being installed you are going to hit it open now you come here you can see so you will come here uh, browser sign in so you will say ok now here you are going to put your new gmail everybody should have a new gmail or anything so my gmail is i'm going to put it as um okay so i put my new gmail now i'm going to put my password okay so now i perfectly logged in now if we go to okay so here we come to the main screen right uh, you can go to the setting of the phone just to see that now if you see the account on devices so my gmail my new gmail will be there so now what we are going to do that my new gmail is already there accounts and backup um, backup and restores let me see what they have okay i just want to show you the that my new gmail is already being there but unfortunately i cannot find it right now okay uh, i will show it to you right now now it's something okay so you hit on account now you can see my new gmail is there so what we are going to do just power off the phone restart it and wait for it to restart once it restarted you can see that uh, there is another step you are going to do just 
start is a new phone but everything that is check marked we we have to uncheck mark and once we come to the new screen then you'll then we need to go, go to the setting and completely effect reset the phone and it will complete your setup um i know guys i have been reading your comments and it's been lots of lots of love from you guys lots of comments from you guys i'm sorry i was busy uh, and i'm trying my best to now keep it up back oh sorry i need to remove the sim card okay now i agree to the policy skip for now so i'm trying to make it back it up everything i was doing i will try my best to upload videos at least two to three videos per week for uh, different aspects and especially uh, all the promotion with cricket metro pcs metro by team it's called now with cricket boost and any other companies uh, new phones that is coming i'm going to post review on it and uh, i will try my best to at least post two or three videos per week to be in touch with you guys and all your comments i will try to respond that and i'm sorry guys uh, it's been i know it's been a long time i'm uploading a new videos and thank you for your subscription thank you guys so much and uh, we are just waiting for this to update mm, and after this update we are going to skip everything once we skip everything then we need to go to the factory reset mode and factory reset the phone and your google verification bypass will be completely bypassed it may take a few seconds okay you should hit next hit next not now skip anyways okay so just uncheck all of them you have to uncheck all of them okay now just adding finishing touch it recommended apps we don't need that for right now just skip skip and finish here you go we are in the phone right now guys and after this what we are going to do just go to setting once you go to setting go to about the phone um, reset and uh, factory data reset and reset delete all and boom here your phone is completely being data wrapped and it's a brand new phone Thank you so much guys for your watching, for your love and support and I'll keep trying to be in touch with you guys. Have a nice one, enjoy your time.